Haleluya, haleluya. Kembo, kembo, haleluya. Natatan Zambi, Mpungu Tulendo Akongo, Yakongo. We want to give honor to our Heavenly Father, Tatan Zambi, for all that he has done and all that he's yet going to do. We want to thank you for being with us and uh, just uh, just thank you, Asulele. We love you. I am not alone. I'm not by myself. I am with our Nabi, Nabi Kephas Yesekeya. Nabi Kephas, hallelujah. Greet the people for us, hallelujah. <laughs> yes. Matondo, matondo, matondo. Um, I am Nabi Kefa Isekaya. Uh, greetings to all the Bento family and a special honor to Manzambi Zola for always uh, inviting me, having me. Uh, and I know it's always the, yeah. it goes two ways direction, right? Yeah. I invite you, you invite me, and, <laughs> and we're always together. So great to be yeah. here, and uh, I'm excited to do a new video with you. Hallelujah. You. Hallelujah. I am truly honored, as always, to, to be with you, my brother. You know, uh, just uh, thank the Most High for how he uses you and speaks through you, you know, and uh, to enlighten the soul in that. Hallelujah. All right. What we want to talk about today is entitled, Where There Are No Roots, There Are No Branches. And um, the, uh, the concept uh, of this is the, uh, the roots, hallelujah, and we're going to get deep into this, uh, is a, a metaphor representing uh, a solele and branches representing leaders. Um, and we want to kind of bring this out a little bit more so that uh, we can get some clarity and uh, explain the role of a solele and leaders and that the leaders rising up from the people. Um, this lesson came to me uh, by way of Nabi uh, Mikhail Massa. And uh, he was in an interview with uh, uh, Yakuba Banabantu, a brother that uh, I would also like to get with and uh, do a, a video with him as well. And uh, Nabi Cape has mentioned where there are no roots, there are no branches. And he kind of elaborated on that a little bit. So um, let us dig into it. Let us jump right into it. All right, where there are no roots, there are no branches. Uh, would you like to start off, Nabi, or? Uh... Oh no, go ahead. It's uh, uh, and yeah, it's it's just go ahead. Just start <laughs> it off. Kick it off. All right. Let me um, pull up a scripture here. Deuteronomy. This is uh, the 18th chapter, and uh, verse 18. And this is out of the uh, NIV. It says, I will raise up. <laughs> I will raise up uh, for them a prophet like you from among your brothers or their brothers. I will put my words in his mouth and he will tell them everything I command him. So, it said that he will raise up a prophet from among the brothers. So the brothers being a solele and a solele representing roots. So the prophet, the leader will come up from the brothers. He has to come up out of the people, the roots. So when you look at a tree, the uh, a tree we know starts from a seed and from the seed, first comes out the roots so that it can grow and get stationed or settled in the ground. As the roots go down into the ground, then there's one that comes up out of the ground that begins the process of forming a tree. And from that tree extends branches. So the prophet 
tells us, uh, the scripture tells us here in Deuteronomy, this is uh, the most high speaking to Masa and uh, uh, sharing with him that uh, a prophet is going to rise up from among the brethren like Masa. And he will speak to the people. So this is the concept. And I know it's going to get a little bit deeper to it maybe some twists here and there about the roots and the branches so the people another thing another thing quickly i'll say this too roots cannot operate um the roots of a tree cannot operate independently of each other and what i mean is the roots of a tree work together in order to have a successful tree, to produce success, successful branches, limbs, leaves, fruit, what have you. The roots work together. So what am I saying? I'm saying that the people have to work together in order to be successful. So I'll stop there. I'll pause there. Okay. That's um, yes. I had to take my note map, <laughs> notebook, <laughs> as you were talking. You know, and we're getting uh, some inspiration. Mm -hmm. Now, as you know, um, what you said that when a seed is planted, right? When a seed is planted, it dies first. Yes. Like Isaiah said, eh? mm -hmm. unless that uh, that seed falls into the ground and dies first, it it cannot bear fruit. Mm -hmm. It remains to itself. But when it dies, when it fell, fall into the ground and dies, then it will grow and bear much fruit. Yes. Yeah, so there's a dying, there's a process of dying. And isn't it amazing that whenever, as long as you have the, the seed in your hand, you know, or uh, put away somewhere in your in your in your barn or you know whatever just stored up mm -hmm. it remains inactive ah, yes but uh, when when it enters the ground it activates yes right? yes it activates as if it knows its environment yeah all right now the seed activates and said yeah. hey this is my environment this is the time for me this is the the right place for me now yes you no know, to die to crack open mm. huh. and to go down deep yeah so when we want to grow we must die first Ooh. and go down deep you know in prayer Hallelujah. we humble yes. ourselves yes you know we humble ourselves in prayer we seek his face we go down deep and as we are going deep yeah. that Tanzambe will work in us in the uh, invisible plane mm -hmm. you know in hidden places he's working with us because when you plant a seed mm -hmm. when you look at the surface of the ground you see nothing happening but in that secret dark place in the soil something is taking place something is happening the, the the seed has died and is slowly going deeper and deeper spreading its roots yeah and when the yeah. roots are strong enough you know what happened uh. a stick comes up <laughs> <laughs> a stick comes up Come on, man. I'm talking in parables. Yeah? Yeah, a stick come comes up. Yes. And a stick is called a staff. Yes. And a staff represents leadership. Hallelujah. And as that stick comes up and begins to grow, and is growing towards the sun. Yes. Right? Towards the sun. That's why we say Ra in, in, in Egypt. They say Ra for the sun. Tangu. For the sun, and the sun represents the illumination, the, the spiritual wisdom, yeah. right? right. The, 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 the fellowship or intimacy with the Tanzambe. So you grow towards the sun. Uh, yeah. And as that stick, which represents the staff, 
and the staff represent leadership is growing towards that divine destination, destiny, promises, yes. right? Yes. It branches out. Ah. Uh. <laughs> and so the people appear. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it branches out and forms a nation, a people, a tribe, clans. Yes. 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 Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what you see is that for Tatan Zambi to have his people, mm -hmm. he needed someone to be tested first. Someone who could go to his divine uh, preparations, right? What we call test. Yes. Go to the desert. Mm -hmm. The testing of Tatanzambi. Yes. 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 The proving of Tatanzambi. Yes. So Abraham went to 10 different tests during his life. Yes. Mm -hmm. He went through 10 different tests during his life. In the end, Tatanzambi asked him to die. Yes. In the end, he said, Abraham. Abana, give me your son, your only born son, given to me. Mm. So he was asking Abana to die. Yes. Yeah? Because Isaka was his only son. Mm -hmm. Yes. With Sarah. Sarah. Uh -huh. His only only son, only begotten son with his beloved wife. Mm. So to kill your son or to give your son, it's like killing yourself, you know, right? right. Like a, a spear or a sword going through your own soul. Mm -hmm. Yes. And that being the promised son as well. Yes, Hallelujah. the seed. Yes. Yeah. Because he said, through your seed, right? Ah, yeah. Through yeah. your seed. Uh -huh. And that seed is the promise. It's Isaac. Yes. Sema. Yeah? Sema. Now, let's remember that. Now, let's know that um, Isaka was not taken by force right right it's not like abana took isaka and said okay let's go <laughs> no mm -hmm. no remember as they were climbing the mountain isaka asked him the question that we have the wood we have the fire mm -hmm. where's the sacrificial lamb where, where is that? Yeah, according to the story, right? Right. The story in the book. Mm -hmm. He asked a question. We have everything here except the lamb. Yeah. Yes. When Abana answered him, Tatanzambe will provide for himself a lamb. Yes. Isaka knew yes. that it was he. Mm -hmm. Yes. But he did not fight. He accepted the will of Zulu. Yes. He said, okay, uh -huh. let's do the will of the Most High. According to the story in the book, he was placed upon the altar. Mm -hmm. As they both were about to die, an angel called the name of Abana. Stop! Now I know mm. that Abraham, that Abana, feared Tatanzambi. Yeah. But let me ask you a question. Was Tatanzambi or was heaven ignorant of the fact that Abana feared the Most High? No. 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 No, he oh. was not. But it had to be proven. He had to go through that test. Yes. To prove to the council of Zulu, 
to prove to the contrary spirits his action, right? Right, yes. His heart, his soul, his spirit, his obedience, yeah. so that it could be written down in the records. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh. Therefore, therefore yeah. he yes. became the seed that died. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. And began to to spread the roots in that secret place. Mm. Yeah. And to yeah. grow a stick. Yeah? And to grow a stick, what represents a staff. And a staff represents leadership. Now the leadership, the power and the influence of Zulu was given to Ebana. Yes. You see, he became the stick. He became the leadership. So as he was growing, mm -hmm. as Isaka grew, he gave birth to two sons. But the Tanzambe hated the one and loved the other. Yes. Not according to their works, but according <laughs> eh, to the selection of the Tanzambe. Uh -huh. eh? Because they didn't do anything as they were in the womb. But the Tanzambe, knowing the hearts and the intents of men, Yes. He rejected mm -hmm. Esau. Mm -hmm. He embraced Isaka. Yeah. Sorry, uh, Yakuba. And as Yakuba grew, mm -hmm. he produced 12 sons. Yes. And those 12 sons extended the branches. Hallelujah. And yeah. The stick became a tree. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the stick became a tree. Where birds were coming, you know, to eat from the tree, to enjoy from the tree. Where animals were coming yeah, to, to, to be comfortable in the shadow of the tree. Until certain kingdoms felt threatened by that glorious tree and they decided to cut the tree down they cut it down yes but they failed to uproot the stump <laughs> <Come on. laughs> hey and you know what happened <laughs> cut down yeah. the tree and yeah. you leave the stuff in, <laughs> it will do what in time? It'll it will regrow. begin to grow again. Yes, it will. It will regrow. <laughs> and that's the season that we are in. We are regrowing. Yes. Hallelujah. We don't need to go down into the roots uh, right? to become a stick first and uh, then a tree. The roots are already there. Already there. We are just regrowing. Yes. Huh. As long as we stay connected with the roots, yes. we will be growing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wow. And that's the job of all of us. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Yes. Yes. That that was beautifully, beautifully illustrated, uh, Nabi. You know, because it tells us as a people that the seed has already been planted within us. And the Most High said that we must die to ourselves. We must die mm -hmm. to this flesh. That means we must not give in to the flesh, the desires of the flesh. That is what must die because the flesh is so strong. It is so strong. And if we allow the flesh to have its way, it will out, it will push the spirit man aside. But he said we must die to the flesh. And that's that seed that has been planted. It died, as you say. Mm -hmm. And when it died, then the roots began to, to spring forth new life. So when we die, hallelujah, to the flesh, 
and we allow the Muanda Avalela to work through us, new life began to grow. That root began to, to, to grow into the fertile ground of the word of Tata and Zambi. And we began to sprout up, hallelujah, a new creature, a new creation mm -hmm. to produce the right fruit. That's right. That's right. You know, and it's uh -huh. uh, and when we say die to self, we must understand that in this day and age, the Kadian Pemba, mm -hmm. they have been promoting selfness, mm -hmm. right? Yes. What they call individualism. Yes. Everything, do everything for yourself. Mm -hmm. Do what thy will it. Yes. The devil's philosophy. Yes, it is. Right. Do what thou will it. So individualism is the spirit of division. Yes. Because if I only want to do what I will, what makes me happy, I don't care if I hurt you. I don't care if I, you know, damage the, the community. Mm -hmm. I don't care. Right. I want to make me happy myself. So I do whatever I want. Mm -hmm. That's the spirit of individualism. Do what makes you happy. You know, live your life according to what you want. Mm -hmm. But a tree is one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you get it, eh? Oh. But a tree is one. So we must move away from that spirit in the world called the spirit of individualism. Yes. Yes. And go back in the spirit of unity, of building community, building each other, building the people. So now we must think like... Uh, if I do such and such, how will it reflect to the community? Yes. How will it reflect to the tree? Ah, beautiful. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. Why? Now, mm. in the in the Congos, right? Before the Kadiang Pemba came to destroy, everyone in the community was responsible for the other yes yeah yes, they were and when someone committed a crime it was considered the crime of the community mm -hmm. not just that individual yes yeah so the shame fell to the whole community and they were considered as uh, the community failed that one person Yes, we failed that one person. So uh, it was a responsibility of all of us, of everyone. You see? Mm -hmm. And that's the big difference today. We think as individuals only. You know? I want to do what I want, what makes me happy. Yes. I don't care about you. You do you. I do me. That's mm -hmm. not building community. No, it That's is. not building a tree. A tree is one. Mm -hmm. yeah. Each leaf, each branches is getting his uh, nourishment from the roots. Yes. Okay. So no leaf, no fruit, no branches can say, I do me, you do you. <laughs> they are all getting right. the nourishment from the same roots yes you understand so they yes. are connected mm -hmm. they are connected always yes and they go through seasons the change of seasons as a tree together in bumoko bumosi as one yes there is no branch you can say i will skip winter <laughs> I will skip right. a spring. Yeah. <laughs> you see me in, in, in the summer. Uh -huh. No. 
they all go to the uh, 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 seasonal change as one. As one, yes. Yeah, as one. Yeah, and, and, and you know, Nabi, if I could just interject, going through those seasons, those changes, it's especially here, and, and uh, I don't know how it is there during the winter, but here where we are, uh, during the winter, it, it gets cold. It can drop below zero, you know, 15, 10 below. And when you look at the trees, there are no leaves. It looks dead. But it's the roots that are still alive. Mm -hmm. ah, hey. It is the roots that keep the tree alive throughout those frozen seasons, those frozen days. Yeah. The tree may not produce anything, but it's still alive because of the roots. The roots are doing their job. The roots know who they are. And they work together to preserve yes, it. Yes, 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 yes. And uh, my. you know why the you know why the, the leaves fall? Because in the summer the tree needs to uh, reserve energy. Yes, because mm -hmm. as uh, when you see a, a tree with leaves, the roots are working hard to provide all those leaves and branches with nourishment. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh -huh. And he receives energy from the sun through right. the leaves because the yes. leaves absorb energy. Yes, the photosynthesis. So, Mm -hmm. In the winter, because there is a lot of cold and, and uh, not much sun, the leaves fall off. Mm -hmm. yeah? And the tree goes in a state of hibernation. Oh, yes. Yes. Yeah? To preserve energy. Mm -hmm. So that when the seasons return, spring comes, you know, they begin to grow and produce life again. Yes. And in the summer, you see trees with... with beautiful leaves and fruits and things like that. Uh -huh. yeah? And the birds come and enjoy the tree. Yes. Even we enjoy the tree as we see color on the trees. Yeah? Yes, yes. That's the thing. His solele was cut off. The tree was dead. They looked upon the tree. There were no leaves, you know, ugly. Like in the winter, the, the trees are ugly. Just, it looks like a skeleton, you know? Yes. But now, we are coming back alive. Hallelujah. We are coming back alive. But yeah. we should know that um, a tree is one. Yes. yes. A tree is one. So we must think about that philosophy. Yeah? A tree is one. Exactly. exactly. They are not divided. No, it's not. Yeah, and it uh, okay. <laughs> you know that. And when we think, when I think about the roots, mm -hmm. I think of the fathers. You know, yes, uh, Bankulu, Bankulu, because they are our roots. Yes, they are. We live because they lived. We exist because they exist us. Yes. We are because they were yes now when when you remove them you also remove yourself out of the equation oh my you goodness. cannot exist you cannot be yeah yes so we live we breathe we stand mm -hmm. because of them yes we are the yeah. continuation of that life ah oh, beautiful Yes. Yeah. Now, the promises, mm -hmm. the covenant came from the fathers. We were not there. Yes. But because Tatanzambe loved them and established a covenant with them, made them the head of nations. Yes. The covenants of the fathers. Yeah. The promise is of the fathers, right? Yes, that's right. And we as branches, we enjoy those covenants. Yes. 
So we can never say I am what I am because of myself. No. No. We came from somewhere. Yes. We have a kinkulu and history. Yeah. We have a history. Kinkulu. Kinkulu mkulu. So our history is connected with the fathers. And when we say history, kinkulu, we are actually saying the story of our fathers. Yes. Yeah. That is our history. Yes. The story of our fathers. The story of the roots. That is our history. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes, it is. Hallelujah. Ah. Because it's the stories of our fathers, the roots that build us. Yes. Yeah, that gives us nourishment. That gives us identity. That, that tells us who we are. Mm -hmm. The story of our fathers, the roots yes. that nourished our soul, that nourished our spirit. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh my goodness. That is powerful. That is powerful. And that, that is something that we have to remember as a soul uh, And I love the way you said that, you know, we, we do not exist if we cut ourselves off from our ancestors, from our fathers, and that they are our roots. So we, mm -hmm. we will not exist if we cut ourselves off from that. We have to remain connected to them. As the Most High gave to them, they gave to their children and so on and so on and so on. And we know that the Kadia Pimba did their best to cut us off. They tried to destroy the root. Now I do know that in some cases, when, it, when you take a tree, a physical tree, you may be able to cut off some of the roots and burn them and do away with them because they may be in your way. <laughs> but if you don't destroy and kill all the roots, the roots that's left will still produce. So the Kadia Pimba may have cut some of us but there's some of us that are still left and producing. We know mm -hmm. we are. Hey, 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 hey. Can, can let us read a scripture? Ah, yes, sir. Um, Luke 1. Let's, let's start with Luke 1. Uh -huh. Verse 72. All right. Luke 1, verse 72. Hallelujah. And it reads here, to perform the mercy promised to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You see? So, to remember. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. that's, that's something, eh? That's yeah. something. So, Tanzambe, it often in scripture, for example, Anna, right? Mm -hmm. Anna. Now let's start with uh, Raquel. Raquel, Tatanzambe remembered her. Yes. And she became pregnant. Uh -huh. Yes. Let's go further back. Back. Uh huh. Noka, Noah. Yes. He was in the ark mm -hmm. for forty days, forty nights. And then the scripture tells you. That Tanzambe remembered Noah as if he forgot about him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. Right? He remember. He, he was like, wait a minute. Isn't there someone in the ark <laughs> upon waters? As if he forgot about him. But that's not the case. It's not. To remember, each time you read Tatanzambe remembered someone, he uh, is about to do something. Yes, yes. yes. He is about to do something. It's like a scribe comes to him, is reading a report. Mm. Yes, uh, the 40 days and nights are over. And Tatanzambe said, ah, let's, let's go into the next phase. Yes. Yeah, so he's about to do 
something. Mm -hmm. As he remembers you, he's releasing his blessing. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's releasing his blessing. When Massa was um yeah, was was called to the mountain. Mm -hmm. Yes. And as the angel was talking to him, yes. the angel actually said, I remember my covenant. I remember now I have come down to redeem them. Yes. Now here in Luke, once again, he said to perform the mercies promised to our fathers and to remember yeah. he's about to do something. Yes, he was about to do something because Isaiah was about to be born in that time, according mm -hmm. to the scriptures. Right. Yeah, because yeah. Th this is the angel speaking to Zechariah. Mm -hmm. Yeah speaking to Zachariah. So, two people were being born. First, we had John the Baptist, his own son. Yes. And followed by Isaiah. Uh -huh. Because the angel said, he is remembering his covenant. Uh -huh. So each time that Anzambe remembers you, he is about to release a blessing. He is about to do something mm. over Isolele. Uh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm. See, it is beautiful, hallelujah, to know that Yesiah, Tata and Zambi, remembered you, Isolele. He remembered us. Not that he forgot, but as Nabi Cave has just said, he's about to do something. And when we look at what's going on today, we don't have to remain focused on what mm -hmm. they're talking about, mm -hmm. what's, what's before us, what we see. Mm -hmm. Remember, Tata and Zombie is about to do something because he remember you. He remember his covenant. Hallelujah. He said, I will bring you back into the land that I have chosen. He didn't forget. He remembered. And he's going to perform it. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. In Geta. In Geta. Yes. Even we ourselves, when we remember something, mostly that remembering is coupled with an action, yes. right? Mm -hmm. You remember you had to do something. So it's coupled with an action. Yes. That's it. Now let's read a second scripture right. in Zacharias, Zechariah 8, verse 13. Zechariah 8. Verse 13. All right, it says, it reads, and it shall come to pass that as ye were a curse among the heathen, O house of Yaounde and house of Asolele, so will I save you, and ye shall be a blessing. Fear not, but let your hands be strong. Mm, hallelujah. So uh, why is he saving you? First of all, he tells us that Isolele. And the house of Judah mm -hmm. are accursed yes. among the nations. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, who is a, who is considered cursed ones among the nation? The yes. blacks. Yes. Right. The blacks. They they had a whole doctrine That's over right. how dark people are cursed. Mm -hmm. So the black are considered the cursed peoples in the nations, especially the house of Judah and Isolele. Yes. Then he says, so I will save you. Why is he saving us? When we go back to the book of Luke 1, 7, 72, 
because he's remembering yeah. the promise, the covenant yes. of the fathers who are the roots. Yes. He's remembering, hallelujah. He's remembering us. Yes. And therefore he's coming with his salvation. Oh, yes. yeah? Therefore it said, call upon the most high and he will show you his salvation yes. so you will see the salvation of yah yes. you will see his salvation manifest because his salvation is not only spiritual it will also be physical yes, it as he returns yes. like kim bangu said when the king returns Mm -hmm. When the king comes, the one who is appointed to come, yes. when he appears, his manifestation will be little because he will come to judge the nations, mm -hmm. to judge the nations. Yes. How can King Bango say a, a thing like this, such a thing? How can he say such a thing? It goes in line with Revelation 19. And behold, I saw a white horse, yes. and he who sat upon, his name is called the Word, the faithful one, the truthful one. Hallelujah. Yes. Congo. The oh, truth. Yes. The truth. Yes. Congo means the truth. Yes. Hallelujah. He's uh, and in righteousness, yeah. Ah, mama. Mm. He wore in righteousness. Yeah. He will war against the nations. Yeah. Yes. Oh, my. That's it. That's what Kim Bangu said. The coming of that great one will be little because many will perish many will die not only the cutting up ember but also those rebellious people in isolele yes bena congo that will be removed mm -hmm. yes it will so as we remain connected mm -hmm. with the roots this is the time to repent you know? this is the time to remember to remember yes ah. book of deuteronomy 30 first one till three can we read that yes. book of deuteronomy 30 first one to three Verses 1 through 3. And it shall come to pass when all these things are come upon thee, the blessing and the curse which I have set before thee. And thou shalt call them to mind among all the nations whither thine zombie hath driven thee. And shalt return unto Nzambi thy Yah, and shalt obey his voice according to all that I had command thee this day, thou and thy children, with all thine heart and with all thy soul, that then Nzambi thy Yah will turn thy captivity and have compassion mm -hmm. upon mm -hmm. thee, and will return and gather thee from all the nations whither in zombie thy Yah hath scattered thee. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. It's starting with No, it want to act up. Remembering. Remembering. Yes. We lost our memory. Oh. Okay. 
Yeah, I, 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 I can hear you. I see. Okay. Yeah. So it starts with remembering. Mm -hmm. Yes. So it will come to pass. Can you read first one once again? Yes. And it shall come to pass when all these things are come upon thee, the blessing and the curse, which I mm -hmm. have said. The blessing and the curse. Yes. <laughs> yes. The blessing and the curse. We have experienced mm -hmm. the blessing followed with the curse. Yes. Eh? And what's next? Which I have set before thee, and thou shalt come, call them to mind among all the nations. With call them to them. mind. Yes. Remember. remember. Uh huh. Yeah. We shall remember where? Uh, among all the nations. <laughs> <laughs> among all the nations. And it's where we are. <laughs> it's where we are right now. Yes. We are remembering. Yes. Now, that remembrance, it's not our memory, mm -hmm. but it's the memory of the roots. Ah, come on, Nabi, come on. It's the memory of the kinkulu. Ah, hallelujah. You know, kinkulu, the history of our fathers. Yes. It's that memory ah. that's coming to us. Yes. And telling you, you are somebody. Yes. You are not what they say you are. Uh. You have a great history. Uh. You have greatness in you. Yes. You are the people. Ooh, come on, come on. It's coming, uh. you know, by inspirations, by the Muwanda, by dreams, by visitations. Uh. It's coming yes. in your spirit. And you feel it. You are moved by it. You know, you are, you are having these questions. Where do I come from? What is Christianity? Is Christianity our faith? Is Muslim, Islam our faith? What must I do? What's going on? I feel something in me yes. that is telling yes. me that I am more. Uh, come on, come on. And you are remembering. Yes. Yes, you are remembering the story of our fathers, the King Kulu, the story of the fathers, which is called history. It's coming to you. Mm -hmm. You were like, hey, wow, wait a minute. Wait a, wait a minute. We're the people. We're the people. Yeah. <laughs> We're the people. Hey. Yes, yes. That spiritual mm -hmm. DNA has awakened. It, mm -hmm. it is now taken over. Hallelujah. And as you say, we are still, memory. Yes, we are recognizing and we know that we are the people, but not just the people, but we are the people that have been chosen by Tata and Zombie with a purpose. We are the tree of life. Exactly. Hallelujah. Like I said in the beginning, uh -huh. eh? the Tanzambi planted a seed. Yes. That seed had to die in a hidden place, mm. in the dark, in the darkness of the soil, it broke, yeah. began to branch out its roots in the ground. Mm -hmm. And then he came, he broke through the earth as a stick. And that stick is a staff. Yeah. That staff represents leadership. And that leadership, that staff, is the house of Isolele. Yes. It grew, it became a great tree mm. where the birds of heaven came to enjoy the tree, yes. to enjoy of its fruits. And the people of the west, east, north, and south, they came to see the glory of the tree and to enjoy under the shadow of the tree. Yes. Yes? Hallelujah. Until they decided to cut off the tree. Mm. But in the foolishness, as Tatanzambe, you know, hid it from them, they forgot to uproot the tree. 
<laughs> so the tree is growing again and we are remembering yeah. the kinkolo the story of our father Amen. we are remembering who we are yes. as we are connected with the roots yes we branch out and we have the leaders around us right the leaders around us who are bringing us out of babylon physically later but first mentally yes yes mentally spiritually and then tatanzam will remove us also physically before isolele came out of kamata mm -hmm. massa brought the message to them yes we are going out yes we are going and he was preaching you know, putting the word and the promise of Tatanzambe in the spirit. Yes. And when the time came, as they were prepared spiritually, mm -hmm. they moved. Exactly. They moved. Exactly. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Nabi, thank you. Matondo, matondo. And you know, uh, as you were talking, one thing that came to me is the trees in the garden. When Tatan Zambi told Adama, he said uh, to eat of any tree that is within the garden, but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, do not touch it, lest you shall surely die. And with that said, <laughs> what I want to say is the tree of life, who we are, the tree, we are producing the fruit of Tata and Zambi. And we are led by Tata and Zambi. There are other trees that are not his. And we must be careful not to touch those fruits. We must discern, hallelujah, the tree. If it is good or if it is evil. If it is of Tata and Zambi or not discern mm -hmm. hallelujah exactly hallelujah we need I to discern believe. and to discern mm -hmm. you have to have a certain level of maturity yes yes people who are not spiritually mature who have not gained a level of maturity they will never be able to correctly discern mm -hmm. yes never yes never you have to grow and you have to mature spiritually. Um, now, you, you, you said something interesting about uh, the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Now, Tatan Zambe created that tree. Mm -hmm. He planted that tree of the knowledge of good and evil. He also planted the tree of life. Yes, he yes? So, he said, you can eat of all the trees in the garden enjoy so he was free to eat the tree of life yes right uh -huh. but he was not but he was prohibited to eat from the tree of knowledge of good not even to touch it mm -hmm. my question is why would that zombie put such a tree in the garden and then say don't touch it <laughs> all right don't touch it <laughs> i thought that's the same hammer. thing <laughs> don't touch it you know and yeah. see hammer <laughs> why it's strange it's strange and it doesn't make any sense why would he do that now the real thing is Of course, all the angels, right, mm -hmm. have the knowledge of good and evil. Yes. Yes, mm -hmm. that's called 
free will yeah free will free to choose so the angelic ain't the angelic beings the celestial beings have the knowledge of good and evil mm -hmm. because you have good spirit and wicked spirit satan the fallen one the snake mm -hmm. as he came into the garden according to the book yes. he knew the wrong he was doing yes he and did. he did not eat of that fruit mm -hmm. Huh? Exactly. But exactly. evidently, he knew the wrong things that he was doing at that moment. He yes. knew that what he was doing was wicked. Yes, he did. But when did he eat of that tree? When did he eat of the fruit of that tree? <laughs> right? <laughs> huh? You see that? You see where I'm going? I see where you're going. <laughs> so, it's not about the tree. It was about his obedience exactly yes it was about his obedience because i believe and i do think that as a uh, adam hmm, adam as he was maturing because remember that abana did not know everything okay right? mm -hmm. tatanzamba did not create him with all wisdom but mm -hmm. just as we, he was growing. Yes. He was learning. Yes. Yes. And that's the reason Tatan Zamba walked with him every day in the evening of the night. Mm -hmm. Walked with him, showing him things, teaching him, you know? Yes. yes. And then he brought the animals before him to see mm -hmm. how he would name them. Right. So he was growing. And of course, he had more a higher intellect that we than we have today. But he was growing, learning, maturing. Yes. And I believe, when he had reached a certain level of maturity, that Tatanzambe himself would have given the full knowledge. Mm -hmm. Yes. Also, to know the difference in evil and good. Yes. But to eat it in the act of violation mm. wow. by the deception of the snake through the woman, that was sin because mm. he went uh, against the commandment. Right. Yeah. Because Tatanzambe can tell you today don't do this, don't do that. And then as you grow, he comes to you and say, okay, go and do that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you understand? Because <laughs> huh? you, you were not ready at the time that, that he told you. That's why he told you, don't do. You weren't ready for it. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. It reminds me also of the story of uh, Elisa and his servant, um, what was his name? Aliyah. His Elisa and his servant. Alisha. My goodness. Alisha. What was his name? I forgot his name. My goodness. But anyway, uh, um, this this man came to visit the prophet. Yeah, he was stricken with leprosy. Uh-huh. Right? Na Naaman, right? Yes. He was stricken with leprosy. Uh-huh. Elisa told him, go to the river. Mm -hmm. Dip yourself seven times and you will be healed. Yes. He fussed about it. No, I don't want to go into the river. Eventually he went, he did seven times and he was completely healed. Mm -hmm. He came back to the house of the prophet with the intention to give him payment. Yes. Right. Uh -huh. A huge payment. A yes. huge. Elisa said, no, I will not take your money. I will not take your riches. I will take nothing from you. Mm -hmm. Just go and return to where you come from. Yeah. So he went on his way. The servant of Elisa, he became greedy uh -huh. because he saw all those wells. You know, it was yes. like. 
<laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and he went in secret. Yes. He went in secret to retrieve all those beautiful treasures. Mm -hmm. He came and he, and he hid it. The prophet called him and said, Where were you? Oh, no, no, I was just uh, doing the dishes. <laughs> I was just here and there. He said, No. Did not my spirit go with you? When you go after Naaman, when you went after Naaman, did not my spirit yeah. go with you? Yeah. Huh? Oh my now, God. the leprosy of Naaman will be upon you and your generations forever. Oh forever. And that leprosy is actually uh, uh, a change of skin, right? That your skin turns yellow. Yes. How yeah. do you call that? Uh, Fur, vertigo or something? Vertigo. Yeah. Uh, um, something like that. It's the change that, that you'll get spots, white spots on your yeah. skin. Sometimes your, 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 your whole skin turns white. Right? That's the biblical leprosy. Yeah. It's, it's not it's, vertigo. That's the biblical it's leprosy. Vertigo. Yeah, it, it's not vertigo. Vertigo is like a woozy. Uh, lightheaded. What, what is it? Something with the fee. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's man. I think the people will know. If you know, just put it in the in the chat. Okay, yes. put it in the chat. Put the word in the chat. Now, and the prophet said, it was not the time mm -hmm. to receive. You see. Yeah. So, when you are out of the time, the Tanzanian can say. Don't touch it. Don't take it. Don't receive. Mm -hmm. Right. But there are seasons where Tatan Zamba will say, receive, take it, mm -hmm. do it. Yes. And that's what I believe was the case with the tree of knowledge. That's good insight. That is good insight. And it very well could, could have been. That's really good, Nabi. I might be wrong, but that's that's how I see it. And I think that uh, it's it's something like a uh, a bit of taigo, something like that. I, I still may be mispronouncing it, but it's it's something like that. Yes, right? something like that. Uh -huh. Yes. Um, but yeah, that is a uh, uh, something to truly think about because uh, the Most High will keep us away from things that we're not ready for, and then, as you said later down the road. You know, when we reach that mm -hmm. uh, level of maturity, then, you know, we can receive it because then we'll know what to do with it. Yes, sir. exactly. Beautiful. Hallelujah. In Geta. In Geta. Well, I want to. In Geta. Uh, uh, again, uh, Nabi Matondo Masaka uh, uh, for sharing and uh, just enlightening the Solele. And uh, so, Lele, I want to thank you for being with us. You know, we are the tree and we have to work together. We're the roots, we're the tree, we're the branches. We have to work together. And uh, as the, the teachers, uh, you know, come forth to lead, as the Most High uh, put them in place to lead us and to speak to us, to guide us, because we don't know all the answers. One of us, one of us don't have all the answers. We all come together collectively. We come together Hallelujah. and uh, just receive direction from Tom. We have to be one, one with our brothers and sisters in the diaspora and on the continent. We have to be one. We're one huge tree. Hallelujah. So with that said, we love you, we thank you, and look for us to come again before you. Hallelujah. In Geta. Hallelujah. May Congo reign. In Geta. Hallelujah.